But most of us started with a pretty simple prompt, like, all right, let's see what it can do, right? We wanted to test it out. Dip that toe in the water, because we didn't trust it quite right off the bat. So we said, hey, write a blog about Egypt, right? So write a blog about Egypt, and we wanted to see what it could do. And we saw what it could do, and we're like, well, wait, can you do that for an audience of? right? Like solo travelers in their 40s. Hello. So, you know, we got it a little more customized and we're like, okay, yeah, this is getting a little better. It just reduced my time on task a little more. And a lot of people who've used chat GPT kind of stop here at this level of advancement. And I am not shaming you for that, but I'm going to hopefully elucidate, share, illuminate, highlight ways you can do it better with my prompt anatomy. To me, these are eight different key areas of a prompt that we can be looking at. And they will come in one at a time, so you can wait for the photo until the end. <laughs> the first one is, you gotta tell it who it's acting as, right? This is an agent, this is a generative AI agent, a GPT, a generative pre-trained transformer, if you want that Jeopardy trivia question for later, now you know it. This technology, friends, has been on your phone for years and years and years and years and years. Think of when you text, you type in one letter, what happens? Some things are suggested below it. You type in a second letter, what happens? It gets closer to guessing, to predicting what those things are. You type in three letters, it's getting way, way closer. And then the more you use it and actually click on one of those things, the more it learns from you. 